survive to the day I've dreamed of since I was a little girl. When I was little, I dreamed of the dress and the flowers, the details, the physical things. As I've gotten older, however, I realize that all of this has nothing to do with the details. This institute of marriage began thousands of years ago in the Garden of Eden when God made Eve a helper fit for Adam. He who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. I have indeed found a good thing. God created them to be together, to become one flesh. And when they rebelled against him, he sent Jesus. He sent Jesus to die so that they could once again be reconciled to him. And that's what all of this is about. It's about him. You are far more precious than jewels, Rebecca. You are beautiful, and even more beautiful is the fear of the Lord that you possess. There is wisdom when you speak and kindness in your touch. Many women have done excellent in their lives, but you surpass them all, baby. I love you, Rebecca. God's word tells me that love is patient and kind. It does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant or rude. That love does not insist on its own way, nor is it irritable or resentful. It doesn't rejoice at wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. Love never ends. So today, rather than vowing to you that I will always love, respect, honor, and care for you, I vow to always stay committed to Jesus. I love you, my sweet Edwin. As a sign and seal of my covenant with you, my love for you in our lives together, with this ring, I make my pledge to you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I am privileged and honored to pronounce you, Edwin and Rebecca, husband and wife. Brother, you may kiss your bride. I now present to you Mr. and Mrs. Cicado. Rebecca, you have received this new season with joy and with courage. I have seen you grow in wisdom and in grace these past few months, and I couldn't be more excited to see you finally come to rest with Edwin in a home that you two get to create. I have seen you both look fully to God with everything that you have in each step that you take, and I can already see what strength you will bring each other in these years to come. I pray that you continue to grow together and to love each other while also remembering where your first true love lies. Based on the world and based on even people that I've talked to, they go, I don't think they're ready. I don't think they're ready. Um, but from what I've known, the time that we spent in the summer, I, I would tell you this. If I were to go, what marriage right, is going to 
is going to be well off. We're going to be okay. I would put my money on yours. And this is why. And you guys believe in Christ. There's this idea that God is starting to restore things now. And when I saw Becca walking down and seeing you two, it was a glimpse. It was a glimpse of what's going to happen. And so my prayer, my desire for you is that you don't have just this good marriage, this great marriage. And people go, oh, that's but that your marriage would literally point to Christ. It wouldn't be a useless marriage, but it'd be a God-glorifying marriage. I just wanted to say to you guys, thank you so much for this gift of this attitude that you guys have. It's this sense of peace in Christ that you guys live with every day. Um, you guys both challenged me to find my faith in Christ. You guys are meant for each other. You guys are meant to love one another, but only because Christ loves you. And you can only do that because Christ loves you. Our mother passed away two years ago, almost two years ago. And um, I told her that the love that our mother has for us is palpable. It's, it's, you can sense it. It is a mom word. She always loved me. Uh, I see mom, not only in you, but in the love of your friends and family and our, and everyone around us that it's here. I mean, our mom is here with us. It's, it's real. And it's so true. And you look just like mom did in the dress when she got married. I'm dead serious about that. I just wanted to say thank you to the both of you for, for that, for, for that gift of, of being an example to others. I think individually you guys are beautiful, but I think together you are great and you will do great things. Um, as of today, I've been married 12,343 days. The goal of being happy each and every day, it's impractical. I, I don't think it's attainable. Um, back in Edwin, you can have good days and you're going to have not so good days. And that's just part of life. But joy, to me, is something you feel inside. And it's deeper. And it's quieter. And it's something you learn to appreciate. My wish for Becca and Edwin is that in those quiet and peaceful times that you can always find joy in what you have with each other.